emotional. Yeah, a lot of emotions flying at MSM. Really is. Even a major. I mean, perhaps emotions are high because remember, like I said earlier, Switch Fest is coming up. A lot of these big tournaments are coming in. I remember, SoCal is stacked with players. No doubt, SoCal, you know, it's on the coast, but those waters run deep. Mm -hmm. So much talent beyond the ranks of the PR, and we're seeing two of those players right here in Nito and Tater Nader. Tater was able to win against Kira Flax earlier. A very tight match was a game five, last hit, last stock. In but three, it was actually but that Tater's Koopa. The Mecha, Mecha Koopa, Koopa, yeah. Yeah, was able to take it in a comfortable fashion. And we saw Kira Flax. Salty moments and Smash moments number 55. Yeah. yeah. We'll see him there. And remember, just in case we don't know, for Bowser Jr. and stuff, they take more damage when you hit him on the head, like the right. body area. Although one buff that Wendy and the rest of the Koopa kit, the Koopalings did receive in this game is that if a hitbox in Smash War collided with both the cart and the Koopaling, mm -hmm. it would be counted as the Koopaling hitbox in Smash 4. This time, if a hit connects with both the Koopaling and the cart, it will count as the cart hitbox. Oh, so that will be good at minimizing damage, especially if Ken wants to go for grounded combos. <sighs> but remember, Remember? Oh yeah, Wendy is very vulnerable to strings that can pass on on board, and Nito has shown multiple times. It doesn't matter what character you pick, he'll combo you anytime, anytime, any place, anywhere. Any day of the week, and especially just held on to that Mecha Koopa for too long though. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for a combo string. That shield is looking low though. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a, this is a button press. This is a button press. Right. Nah, it looks like they saw something wrong. False alarm. Uh, What are they trying to do? I know Nito uses a pro controller, so there might have been an issue going on in that realm. Or maybe it's a wrong stage? Perhaps. No, we are no. going back to PS2, so that wasn't the issue. I think it was a tag problem. Oh, that probably explains it. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Of course he named himself stage. But of course. All right, so now we got the fist bumps, and now we got a competition right now. Nito versus Tater, this time on Pokemon Stadium 2, and this is official this time. Yeah, winner semis, a best of five. We are deep into this bracket. Here it comes, looking for both of Cloud Card can use a lot more. His use of side special is very interesting from Tater. I've yet to see this a lot, but here comes the combo. 45% already. Yeah, just punished for a hasty and ill-timed rapid jab and all of a sudden Nito falling victim to a bit of this percent. It's making it back, but not with the Shoryuken. And level two gonna get a lot of bit more combat down. Unable to get the sweet spot, so no kill just yet, but 102. I love his use of the up B. Hater has been really feeling himself lately, especially especially against Kira. One is able to get two of those hits. But remember, Nito, he's searching for a strong jab into a Shoryuken. He is, and he'll be fishing for that among a couple of other confirms. Has to bait out the Mecha Koopa though. If he wants to play grounded, that will be a thorn in his side. He needs to be really careful as him to shield it out. And remember, Mecha Koopa is really vulnerable to getting shielded out because all of this is fall. It doesn't grab you like in Smash 4. So, One of the bad things we're experiencing. Here comes the grab into forward throw. 108. Tater is doing such a good job controlling this match. Excellent work. Tater evening out the percents, and all of a sudden these pummels will take him over the line. Now he has the percent lead, makes it back. Had the opportunity to punish that sure you can poke a bit above the ledge, but no dice. Mm -hmm. Duken forcing it out a little bit here comes the no confirm just yet, a little too high of a percent, but that bear bouncing him back once more and the up smash he actually dropped his shield. That yeah, got him to drop the shield because he thought he had the Mecha Koopa covered, but had a whole nother wave of pain coming his way. And right now he's searching for a confirm. Here's doing such a good job at the back here. Surely has his name on it. Excellent work. Nito. All of a sudden, the four things get, you know, ugly. And Wendy can, you know, can use these rage, these rage-filled combos to her advantage. Nito closing it out before any of that can occur. Yeah, Nito doing adapting to it, realizing that he needs to play a little more defensive than he's used to. But Nito is no, uh, he's not. He's very familiar in playing this very safe play style. Gets the parry, that very satisfying sound that you hear but unable to find anything else. Tater, 51%. But he actually uses the dash tag to go through it. 
Now Nito. Nito has been actually playing with this Mecha Koopa in hand almost as much as Tater has, but the up smash once again, the second time of asking Nito is going to be the first to drop his second stock. Tater looking in the driver's seat. And here comes to confirm, won't kill just yet, 100%. It's a little stilled as well, as you can't tell. And here comes to Koopa Link, does kick him out for a little bit, but the down tilt. The tongue coming out from Tater Nito just licking him off stage in any way possible. If it works, it works. And he dropped his shield, but no kill just yet. Hadouken is going to be used as a projectile, but unable to find anything out. Is able to armor through it using that focus. Good stuff by him, but oh, he's looking for it. Had the opportunity for perhaps a harder punish than down smash might have killed there, but... And even your nev smash too, remember? Oh no, is he under the stage? He is oh, just no. pineapples himself, and now Tatener. He was at high percent. So it's not too much of a waste, but, but still. any SD is not welcome. 79%, so he needs to find some way around. Uh, I'm able to find anything. Katsumaki gets it back on there, but that Koop, these Mecha Koopas are so well placed by Tater. They really are. If you can get them to land right near the ledge, the turnaround animation is a lot slower than it looks. It's not instantaneous. So they just spend a ton of time in one particular part of the stage. And if you can force your opponent there, that can be the key. And you saw that the smash tag was trying to come out, but Tater in big trouble. He is one confirmed away from tag. He actually clashed with it, but no punish from there just yet. Nito already making this deficit back. 50% down, the numbers say, but when you're playing Ken, this isn't a numbers game all of a sudden. It's whether he can or cannot land a confirm. These, uh... These Koopalings look like snake baits. Oh, he gets the sure you can aerially, though. Won't kill. And the DI barely saving him there. If it was a level two Shoryuken, that probably would have killed, but unable to find it. He goes with a hard spike, but unable to find it just yet. So Tater forced into this really uncomfortable position, stuck on the ledge, but here it comes. No kill confirmed just yet. This is looking like Wimbledon at the moment. Tater as the ball, he's just been sending from mm, one side of the stage to the other, but the Shoryuken, that strong move. From Nito finally managed to unstale it. We have the nameplates reversed once again, so could be getting fixed that. Really good stuff from Nito. His Shoryukens have been on point. He knows exactly when to use it, and this time he called it out knowing that Tater was going to put an aerial on his shield. But remember, you automatically turn around as Ken. You do, and that's just something Tater has to be cognizant of. There's no opportunity where he's going to miss by throwing out the move in the wrong direction. Ken has this automatically taken care of for him. And now Nito playing with a lead after a dominant game one. So my goodness. All play will be in the situation, but here comes the jabs. It's a little bit of percentage off. Remember, it always starts off with Tater getting the percentage off, but it seems to be Nito who gets the better of it in the end. Yeah, Nito has been the one getting the last laugh at the moment, but looking to change that is Tater Nader. Able to get something down different. He's trying to go for the Nair confirms, Again, just but pummeling him, just waiting for the Mecha Koopa to come back. Didn't come back while he was still within the grab, but fell out and into it anyway. Air dodges to the side and just, oh, he used the cart. That clown car making it back. Air dodges out of the way of that dare again. He's able to get out of it. He knows He knows exactly. If he gets hit by that dare, that's going to be stopped over. And this time, great recovery, but great usage of the eject. Up special. Finally working its magic for the first time. It can kill in several different Ooh. fashions, but so can the Shoryuken. Not in this occasion, though. Yeah, great DI from Tater, able to get out of that situation. And here it comes, the combos, 58%. 75 as I speak, and here it comes, that fair. Give him out a little more damage. He went for the confirm, but unable to find it. He didn't cancel it in time. He went for it all there, Tater Nader. Will just take that opportunity and waits for the up smash on the platform. Nito went for the get up attack though, finally making it back safely. Force him into a tech situation. It seems, I don't know about the tech, it seems everyone's missing it. But even if you do miss the tech, just picks the wrong get up option. And now Nito has to play from, you know, from an unfavorable spot. And great usage of the focus cancel to get himself out of there. Dash canceling it to get him out of the situation. Here comes the combo, 40%. He's gotta be careful because that Koopling actually didn't come back in time, so he's gonna be careful. Great use of the up smash. And this time he held the shield up just so the Koopling would fall away. Now Nito has to be careful here. Does not want to get too hasty. He's still in the percent range where a combo could add on another 40%. So careful in here. Oh, the special try to be used, but 
Nina's not the person who would fall for it, but the back air surely will take it. Tater with a really commanding lead right now. Yeah, I was going to say, just held on to the Mecha Koopa too long. Unfortunately, did not mean to catch it with his own aerial, but that's exactly what he did. 70% about each, but one person has an extra stock to play with, and it isn't Nito. Uh -huh. Exactly what's happening. He tried to use those jabs, but great DI once more from Tater. He's staying alive. He really is, just refuses to say die, and now jumps into the F smash, though. That's never good. Taternator with a two stock in game two. He slanted the F smash down just so he could catch it. So Tater seems to have a plug. He's well, he's actually very well prepared against against Ken. Yeah, we might be, you know, headed towards another game five thriller here. Just a slug fest in these first two games. Nito, I don't expect to see a stage change just because he loves the PS2 is like his the child he never had. It is his pride and joy. It's his baby, almost, but... Ever since uh, Tweak literally threw Bowser Jr. away in Smash 4, Tater has been holding on to him and has been able to perform really well with him. He has. Excellent work, though. Now gets another... This time, it's Nito with the early percent. Right, as soon as you say that, Tater fighting back immediately with that combo. Just approaches with a cart and spaces it as he retreats back. Grabs in the wrong direction, though, no matter already finding himself on the front foot again. And I love this dash shield. He's actually able to get away with it. He is, he does just as the show you can to get the maximum of damage possible. An excellent work from Nito, just taking advantage of his own setup. He jumps over the Mecha Koopa, and even though Tater was predicting that, just wasn't predicting it with that wow. speed, but speaking of speed, the absolute rage and the timing with which he threw out that sure you can excellent aerial punish. Do you see that perfectly placed kick? That was able to interrupt the clown card. He's throwing it out a little bit. Then he got the aerial confirmed with that sure You can really impress the play we're seeing from Nito. Yeah, I think we've seen, you know, Nito is a, and Nito and Ken in particular is a character, we see him getting over 50% of his kills with just one singular move, and that's a testament to how powerful sure You can is. And the up airs. They come out really fast, so Nito's got to do a really good job canceling it as soon as possible. But great land, he's going to force him off stage. Hopefully, Tater's got an action. He actually reversed the Hadouken. Interesting. Gets around the cannonball, though. Another sure you can. Nito just will never run out of these. There's an infinite amount within his arsenal. Wants the down smash, though, but not quite the up smash. Will not meet its mark either. He knew that he wasn't in a position to punish anything, crossing up the shield once more, but here comes the combo. Unable to land the re-grab, Tater knows exactly that it smells disaster, and here comes the foot once more. Stanky leg is correct for oh, Nito. Oh, misses the ledge though, here and comes. that's gonna be costly. The sure you can, not quite though. It's scaled out a little bit, so Nito, he's one more confirm away from taking it, so he's not too worried. Back row won't be able to take it just yet. He still has three stocks to play with. He's calm at the moment. One of those is going to evaporate at the hands of that aerial. Mecha Koopa just hey, waiting it out. It's going to expire. Gets it though, right before it finishes off. And here it comes. Tater needs a really good edge guard. And he's actually able to drag it down, but it was not just enough. So Nito, he's just going to shield it out and go for a heavy jab. But Tater's got some other things to say. Now, just that Nair covering so much space. The clown car and those two little balls on the side. Stop giggling. <laughs> Two balls on the side is right. And here the comes rapid jab will be enough to do it. That is a kill move for Wendy. And now Taternator, he was on the verge of getting three stopped a minute ago. And now this could be his game. Yep, and here goes, goes for the re-grab, throws the Koopa Ling away this time. But here it comes. He's looking for a confirm potentially. He actually parried it. A little bit of a flex, I would say. But here comes the confirm. No tech on that situation just yet. Nito. Oh, he's fishing for it. He knows if he can get a weak F-Tilt, which he's been throwing out constantly to interrupt the Clown card, he can go ahead for an up air show you can confirm. Taternator, of course, still important to consider. He's been sitting in triple digits percent-wise for a while. He is used to this. Confirms off of the Mecha Koopa as well. You're insane. Oh, he's actually going to hit him once more, and that ball has his name on it, but it's not able to find it just yet. Tater's got to be careful right now. He's searching for it. He can't find him just yet. Nito is running away with it. Yeah, he interrupted him. He called it out. He punched that car out of there. Yeah, this venue has gone dead silent. Tater thought he had it, especially when Nito, you know, 
denied an option there, just went to stay grounded, but for sure you can you have to be pinpoint precise with that timing, and that's exactly what Nita was. He will take game three. He's one set, or he's one game away, rather, from moving into winner's final. Seems like, I think that's Kira versus Banana? Who's that uh, Diddy Pop player? Oh, that might be Lightning Cam. Lightning Cam, yeah, he's facing against him right now. Oh, well, there you go. <coughs> got some good matches going on in Yeah, but we got, we got this in front we of us. We got the time. winner's match going on in front of us right now. No losers here. But one of them, unfortunately, will be sent to losers. And it might be Tater if he's unable to strike back in this game. Yeah, once again, we saw if Nito has been able to get these early percents, there are leads he can just capitalize on. And here it comes, forced to drop the shield. Or does the shield fall through? I don't know, but Tater definitely doesn't want a shield broken at this percent. At all. We've seen, you know, Tater use some of these directional air dodges. It's just sort of an agenda. And here button. it comes. 33% only on Nita. I'm running out of ways to say sure you can hear because yeah. he just keeps going and going for it. And here comes the Tatsumaki. The dragon punches from Nita are so impressive. Mega Koopa is not enough just yet. Here it comes, the Crescent Kick as well, and the up air strings. He's forcing him out. Oh, he called it out again. Great DI from Tater, he's gonna stay alive. Nito, you're insane as we do have a bit of a strong reaction going on to a match in the background. Have to see what happened oh there, but goodness. closes it out. Nito up three stocks to one. He is cruising his way into winner's finals at the moment. Yeah, he's able to get away with it, and he's able to land the grab. Here comes the shield pressure of Tater, forced to drop it once more. Once more, here it comes. Cloudcart used again, but he's able to maneuver around the explosion. Here comes the confirm. Axe kick used once more. Nito is so much pressure, and that auto turn run once more. Is that going to be it? No, it is not, but not too far away. It is a bit stale. Waits out the S smash, though, and the forward smash, that long reaching leg, just kicks out in frustration. Nito will be facing off against Nico in winner's finals. What is going on over there?